name's Mark DeJong, and uh, this is the Tarp Mahal. This is a semi-permanent structure that we put together, used locally sourced bamboo. Of course, the hardest part of any structure in the wild is always making sure that the roof is actually waterproof. So we did, uh, we did cheat a little bit, but uh, she's solid. This is heirloom cedar, uh, harvested here locally. All of, the, all of the bamboo is also local. Can't have a shelter without a little bit of decoration, so uh, y'all come on in the house here. So uh, this is the inside. Uh, again, super solid frame. This frame has actually been here for about five years. Uh, we continue to make small improvements and everything to it, but as you can see, fits three cots in here very comfortably. It's really a neat place to sleep. Uh, you get that gentle breeze that comes through the bamboo in the summertime and uh, it's pretty sweet. Uh, solar lighting, solar charging station as well, solar powered fans even because hey we are in Georgia and it does get hot out here. Added some shelves in the back, got a nice little kerosene lantern going back here. So the thing that I'm most proud of is this door. What I was looking for was I was trying to design a door that had a hinge with no metal components at all. So if you'll notice what I did, I notched the cedar out, used bamboo, which has got the open cavities on each end, put in hardwood dowels, and that then becomes the door hinge. We started with the original frame that was actually put up in one day. Uh, that's been about five years ago. For several years, we just kept the, the ends of it open, trying to, trying to continue to perfect skills, trying to continue to build on skills. Ended up putting the back wall in first, and then followed by the front wall. And again, it's a semi-permanent shelter. Uh, there's nothing worse than having to haul out the hammock or the tent or whatever else, weather permitting, whenever you come down here to camp. So why not just build something that can stay here and move in and out of it. And sometimes the locals like to come and see us. Oh yeah. So we're actually gonna, we're actually gonna put these back. We're not gonna touch those at all. Uh, because the animals get to live here too, you know? Yeah. Thanks for allowing me to share this, this little project of mine. It's very near and dear to my heart. Uh, and any time that you're down here at Georgia Bushcraft, come on down to base camp, check it out. Take pictures, take measurements, whatever. There's nothing out there that can't be improved. We're all just practicing and learning our skills. Mm -hmm.